At the moment, all they can do is give him time and let him fix things. Yeah. They cannot really... Uh, they are... Every MP I spoke to yesterday is unhappy with the way things are. Uh, the way he can show them love is by fixing the machine inside number 10, because they're, they're unhappy with that. They're unhappy with the whipping operation. They're unhappy with the whole way that number 10 operates. What does he this say about him? I mean, we were told before he even took this office, he's not into detail. He's a you know, broad brush stroke sort of guy, big, bigger ideas. He doesn't do detail. He just doesn't seem organised, which is even shown through the way he dresses or the way his hair is or whatever. Yeah. Um, would that be a pretty accurate representation? Yeah, I mean, this was one of the concerns that Michael Gove had when he wielded the knife, uh, when he uh, stood, stood against him in the, in the, in the, the yes. leadership, which Theresa May eventually won. He spotted the warning signs of this. It'd be interesting to see whether Michael Gove uh, w would talk about that now pri uh, publicly. I doubt whether he would. Uh, but yes, it's the lack of grip. That's what people are feeling. And the unforced errors, the, 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 the turning up to make a speech at the CBI with all the papers in the wrong order mm -hmm. and things like that. Now, it may have been a, a number 10 official who did that. My understanding in that case was that he wrote the thing on the last minute and it was printed out as they were going up onto the so stage. So pretty true to so, form yes, then, yeah. yeah.